morning, you guys. What's poppin'? What's good? Welcome back to the Gentle Takeover. So you guys have to see our morning routine. I swear to you, every single morning, we have breakfast and we listen to Amaya. What do we listen to? Baby Shark. Every single morning. It is Colson's jam, you guys. He loves it. And what a great way for the day to start. What a great way for the kids to start their day. They all seem to love it and get into it. But hey, before you go anywhere, I wanted to show everyone Amaya's plating. So as you guys know, Mai's is really into cooking, right? Mm -hmm. Can we call it your passion? Yes. It's something that you love? Yes. Being a baker is definitely something that's on your list, right? Yeah. So today we have made chocolate chip Eggos and I like to throw in something healthy every single morning because if I don't, y'all already know about her. Y'all already know. <laughs> but Colson always gets something healthy and same with Eden. So today, Amaya decided to jazz up her plate. And do you want to talk to them about your plating? All I did was make a hole with the Eggos and put two strawberries in it. Guys, check out this plating. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about <laughs> uh, Got it. Look at this. She just needs some whipped cream in there. Ooh. Oh, it's like a volcano. It does look like a volcano. Anyways, we're going to eat breakfast, so we will see you guys in a little bit. But before I let you go, you already know what time it is. It's time for me to pick you guys up. So if you are new to our channel, make sure you click that subscribe button wherever it is. If you are OG, you already know what's good, what's poppin'. Thank you for always coming back. I know I look a little bit crazy today, but I'm gonna be installing uh, one of the wigs that I made, I think like last summer today, um, because I just want long, luscious hair. And again, if you follow me on Snapchat, which is where I basically share every single millisecond of my day, I'm not exaggerating. I really enjoy Snapchat for some reason. Um, you know that I pulled her out yesterday. Well, I guess it wouldn't have been yesterday, but you saw me pull her out, uh, wash her, and just get her ready. And then, and then, I found, okay, now you guys can see me. Then I found some straight hair. I don't really mess with straight weave. Like, it's just not, I don't even know. I have like this thing now with now having little girls that I just don't feel like I should be wearing straight hair. Um, I feel like they should be seeing me with curls at all times. Help them with their curly hair journey because y'all know how it is. So I have like this stigma against straight hair, um, at least on myself, not for everyone, so don't get too sensitive. But Kev loves um, straight weave that's like curled, so. I might just make a wig today. I don't even know, we gonna see. We go, we go, we're gonna see what I do. I definitely need to clean up, so see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> What's up you guys? So I am currently um, just doing all of my edits for our newest vlog that's going up today. And while doing that, because this was posted about yesterday I believe, which is like, why would you do that to people? Can we just talk, but they'll talk about that in a minute. But this is what we doing. Now, the probability and the likelihood of this happening is very slim to none. So I figure if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be, you know? Hi, peekaboo. Mm, hi, peekaboo. <laughs> All right, so let's see if it happens. Cause I've, we've, we've only got through once. Wow, whoa. That's just upsetting. That's what that is. That's really upsetting. <laughs> Leaning more towards the wasn't meant to be uh, side. Since it seems to be updating. So I chose this day. Um, initially, I wanted to do the, let me read out the line up here because I posted it to all my girlfriends. The, this day. Because like, let me just be like 14 again, right? But realistically, this would be the day that I'm super content because it's Drake day. Each person may complete one purchase at a time. 
Would you like to purchase another Shantae paper? Please return to queue for a new place in line. What kind of tomfoolery are they talking about? I don't, I don't even know how I feel about that. Why would, I, like, why would he do that? So back in the day when Drake first started OVO Fest, I think, baby, did we get into the first OVO Fest or the second one? The second one, okay, so we missed the first one. We tried that year, but we missed it. And that's because we were trying to get like six people to come with us. Um, it was like Kev, myself, one of my friends from New York, some girlfriends, my brother, like too many people. We learned from our, our mistake the previous year and Kev and I got tickets for the second year, I think just for the two of us. Um, and like it was still a huge, a huge deal. And when we went, I want to say a majority of the people that were there were from the state. They all had signs and they were saying where they were from, whatever. So I feel like it was already super difficult. But to see this, I'm like, you're wiling. So why you would make it one purchase at a time is beyond me. Like that doesn't even logically make sense. Like you want me to buy a ticket and hope I can get a next one? I want everyone to buy their own ticket. That's stupid. And like, what world? People have to work, Drake. People have things to do. Um, ironically, I'm saying this to my head cap and robe on, but like, any other day, I would have things to do, and like, I can't just sit here. Well, I would make time to sit here, but I can't expect other people to be buying their own tickets. Like, that's not realistic or convenient. I'm not impressed. I might just dip out this thing because it's still updating. There's still 2,000 plus people in front. And uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, that's just not happening. Womp, womp, womp. So I finally got through lawn seats that cost us $50 for our second OVO. I'm trying to see if I can catch him walking. Come on, puppy. Come on. Coulson. Come on. Atticus, go lie down. You're gonna scare him. Come on. Yay! He did it! I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. My papa is just trying to walk. And harass me, of course. All right, I need to lay this wig. I really wanted to try and get his steps on camera. He started doing this today, like taking like five steps, and it's huge. I can't believe it. I was really happy that he was taking his time and like not ahead of the game just because he's our last baby. So it's exciting now that it's happening and you can see the excitement in his face. So I'm glad I got it on camera. Colson's first steps for y'all on camera. Um, I'll see you guys after I leave this here. Like, I mean it this time. And we're back. So I was in the midst of like installing my hair. Uh, I had a pick up from, what's it called? Facebook Marketplace. I live for Facebook Marketplace. If I wanna get rid of like anything or find something for like dirt cheap because I always um, bargain with people, Facebook Marketplace is the wave. They should probably sponsor me or something because I love them so much. And other news, little man just woke up. Hello, my little walker. Hello. All right, girls, so let's go sit down upstairs. I have a proposal to make. Proposal. Yes, a proposal. <laughs> sit down, Eden, give me the phone. Okay. Proposal. Thank you. <laughs> it's an offer. Okay, so you have two options. Are you ready? Yes. So Maya asked that tonight be family night, right? Yes. Which means we're either going to play a family game together, watch a movie together, something along the lines of that, right? Yes. So we're doing that already tonight. And I have two options as to what we can do as a family. Okay. Okay. So the first option is to go to Costco and pick out our favorite foods and to have a family feast and watch a movie with popcorn and chips and our feast. The second option is to go to Ribfest because Ribfest is here right now and we can go out to eat and get like ribs and stuff 
But if we go to Ribfest, we are on a budget. A specific budget because Ribfest is a rip off. <laughs> if we go to Costco, we'll be able to get more food and we watch a movie and all that kind of stuff. So those are your two options. Colson, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Say one. Or he's two. pondering about it. Looks like he's voting for number yeah. one. one. Okay. okay so. Eden, what are you voting for? One. Okay, Maya? One. All right, so it's a family feast night. Okay, so we're going to head to Costco, go get some of our favorite things. Um, I'm interested to see what the kids are gonna pick. I I have I already think I know what I want to get. Um, one well, like one thing specifically because I can't really eat too much, but. I'm interested to see. I have a question. I feel like Maya's gonna pick a bag of chips. Yes? Does ice cream count? Ice cream is not, can't be part of a feast. <laughs> and you just ate ice cream. Oh, no, I like You ice just cream. ate ice cream. I like ice cream with caramel. Colson, Colson, <laughs> what are we gonna do with He's her? He's trying to on the video. Eden, do you know what you're gonna pick from Costco? Chips. I knew you were gonna pick chips. Uh, it was between the munchies. Uh, it's between the munchies for her and that the popcorn that has the cheddar popcorn and the caramel popcorn. Those are what uh, Eden's gonna pick because she is all in movie world. I'm picking something for dinner. What are you picking? I, like I don't know. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go there. Colson, you ready to go? You ready to go? Can you end the vlog for me? Can you end the vlog for me? Bye guys. Oh, we grow cheap. Thank Good you. Job. Okay, so we just got home. You guys, I was better off taking these kids to Ripfest and wasting my money. The things that they picked is beyond me. Okay, so, but I also did, um, our last video was the no hands grocery shopping challenge and I did it in Costco, so I didn't want to be up late with in Costco with my camera again. So Maya picked Cookies. Keep in mind, this is for dinner and for us to be eating during our movie and family time, okay? Then they pick this for the movies. So this doesn't really count, but this is for the movies. Then Eden picked a chicken pot pie. And I'm over here like, I need to balance this out because this is getting kind of wild. Um, there's like nothing here I could eat. So although I made like a sandwich and everything today, a sandwich, a salad and a bunch of snack preps, today I'm going to be indulging in Caesar salad. And then Colson picked, but not really, he obviously didn't pick it, he just loves chicken. So Colson's having chicken and Kev, didn't come with us because he's been on calls all day, but he requested apple pie or apple crumble, and Costco always has that, like without a doubt, always has it, not today. So instead, we got strawberry rhubarb crumble, which is gonna be 10 times better. Strawberry rhubarb is my favorite flavor in life. It's not a lie, he's back there screaming lies. It's gonna be so much better. The kids are gonna be like, oh my God. They're gonna love it, that's the point. So we're ready for our feast. It's going to be like an interesting feast. Maya tried to convince me to get ice cream too. I don't know where all this food is going because it's not gonna go in their belly. Um, but yeah, I brought Kev back food because he'll just sit there and work and not feed himself. And look what Colson's eating, y'all. Chicken. Is it yummy? Is it yummy? This face, why are you the cutest little thing? You the cutest little thing. Okay, I'm gonna let you eat the feast. And we will see you guys for the feast. Actually, I'm not for the feast. I'm gonna set everything up, give you guys an idea of what it looks like when we do our family nights but I'm not going to record during the feast. One, because that would be a mukbang, and if y'all wanna see that, comment below and let me know, but I'm not trying to do that with the kids today. I'm still trying to get them to with their mouth open and using their forks and knives correctly. 
under wraps. So no mukbang with family, maybe Kevin and I at a later date, but I'll show you guys the setup. It should be interesting. I'm definitely gonna do like a buffet style. So I'm gonna set everything up and they can grab as they go. And that is going to be our family feast night for today. Let me know in the comments below things that you guys do with your family, if it's a weeknight thing, if it's a weekend thing, and I'm not talking about extracurricular activities because I don't say we all do that with our kids, but some of us are lucky enough to. What are the extra things that you do with your family to spend family time together and just enjoy each other's company? Obviously this isn't something that we do often, a family feast, no. I wanted to go to Ribfest. Like I wanted some freshly squeezed lemonade and what else do I like? I love the Blooming Onion. Kev loves the Blooming Onion as well, but he wasn't gonna come, so it wasn't gonna be the same anyway. So I guess this will have to do. The point is, let me know what y'all do to spend quality time together with your family, because I'm here to take all y'all ideas and kind of spruce up the things that we already do, because the kids are getting older, and so far they still love spending, spending time with us, and I'd love to keep it that way. So let me know what you guys do in the comments below. I will see you for our feast. Deuces. What do I have in the oven right now? The chicken? Yeah. It's cooking. Then I'm gonna put the pie in, and we have decided to watch, what's it called again, Amma? Family Reunion. Family Reunion on, <laughs> she's just obviously here to have her face in the camera. Um, we're gonna watch Family Reunion on Netflix. I'm here for all of the black sitcoms, like I just wanna watch them all. I try to keep up with them, and we're gonna watch a movie and play a game probably after dinner. There you go. So we're just waiting for the food to finish. The girls just finished playing in the sprinkler. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said the water was warm. Did it stay warm? No. It got cold, right? Yeah, I no, bet. It didn't get. It was in Colson. Eden was here for the sprinkler fun. And Colson just woke up. So timing is going pretty well so far. The next time you see us, it's gonna be our spread of our food and we have to decide on a movie. So start thinking. Do you know what you wanna watch? I wanna watch um, a movie that all of us agree with. Guys, she makes everything so easy. He peed on me. What's wrong, guys? On me. <laughs> so, throughout the day, look at his face. Oh my god! He's like, he's like, did I do that? Did I do that? <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> Close in darkness. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we're zoomed in. I'm gonna get away from the TV because I feel like it's gonna pick up the background noise. But, um, because Coulson had a diaper rash, I don't even know how long ago now, but regardless, every single day I let him air it out. I'm not really sure what he's airing out. Like, I know, like, as females, that's great for us. At least that's how I was raised. Guys, I'm not really sure if it's a thing, but I let my son do it. And my just got peed. She took that chance, you know? You want to cuddle with your brother? It might happen. You're taking a risk. And she was down for it. So it happened. Anyways, um, I have the dessert set up already. I've made the salad. The chicken pot pie is done. Waiting for the chicken. And then we're ready. We're ready. The family feast is coming. Wait on it. All right, so Coulson is situated. Wow. Does the feast look good, Papa? So Colson's situated. I have the pie still cooking in there, but the rest is re eaten is super ready, um, and so is the food. So are you gonna have chicken and chicken pot pie? I'm gonna have one healthy, one not. I'm gonna have the chicken pot pie and some salad. Okay, what are you having, Eden? Chicken pot pie and the chicken. You have, you're not having salad? I'm having the salad. Eden? No. Okay, and Colson's gonna have a leg, and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this for him. Probably some chicken pot pie. And I'm just gonna have some salad and put some chicken on top. 
and we done. We I, we still don't know what movie we're gonna go watch, and we're waiting for Kev. Um, today's a longer day for him, so. I'm gonna get the kids situated. We are going to decide on a movie that we're gonna watch and get this family day started. I hope that you guys are enjoying your day and you enjoyed this vlog and we will see you in the next one. Today, you guys have to think of an emoji. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, what emoji should they drop? Um, Happy drop day. a shopping emoji. I don't know if there is a shopping emoji. I think there's a shopping bag emoji. I'm pretty confident there's a, I clearly don't use, like I'm not in that in depth with emojis. So drop a shopping bag emoji like this one in the comments below and we will beat you up in our next vlog. Until next time. Toodles.